Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. And welcome to Maximize Your Potential Talk Show. I'm your host, Gertrude J. Chapman. And, you know, it's such a wonderful day, y'all. It's a wonderful day to be alive. You know, I'm so excited about what's happening and especially with our course that's coming up right after Labor Day. You know, we have this fantastic course that's going to be launching. It's called Building Your Self-Confidence and Self-Esteem and along with some other products and services by some of my team members. But we have been working on this diligently. And, you know, this is something that is much needed. And especially, you know, with women, because 79% of women, this is according to the stats, are suffering with a general form of low self-confidence and low self-esteem. And, you know, that's something that shouldn't be. Because women, we are in so many things. We're involved in so much. And, you know, we're always making sure that everybody else is taken care of. But when it comes to us, you know, what happens? Why do we draw back? Why do we not, you know, continue to go forth for our goals, to reach those ultimate goals? Why don't we maximize our potential instead of just, you know, letting it go or how, how would you, you say this? Um, que sera, sera. That's the word I'm looking for. Que sera, sera. You know, whatever will be, will be. And it shouldn't be like that. Because you find yourself hidden and missing. You know, existing. Instead of truly living your life. So each day, you know, it's, it's coming up to um, the launching of this course. I've been talking about confidence, confidence. And for the last two weeks, I talked about the faces of low self-confidence and low self-esteem. And this week, I've been talking about when you are confident, when you are confident. So I want you to, you know, think about this. If you miss the other programs, you know, you could always go back in the archives and retrieve those uh, videos and see what I was talking about and how you may fit into the equation. Because you really have to come to the end of yourself and say, look, enough is enough. I'm tired of living this way. I'm tired of going around this same mountain. Some of you have been going around this mountain for 25 years or more. You know, it's time to get off. Get off that roller coaster ride and, you know, live your life on purpose. Maximize your potential. Enjoy life. You know, just don't exist, you know, waking up and thinking, well, you know, whatever will happen will happen. You know, be purposeful. Be purposeful. Aim at your goals. Stay connected. You know, there's so much. There's so much more to you that you don't even realize that's inside of you. There's so much brilliance that you have. And, you know, to find out more about this course, and let me tell you, this course, you could take it at your own pace. There's 12 units of information there and exercises and different things that you could take in the comfort of your own home or your office at your own pace. And you could go to that information that's scrolling at the bottom of the screen, bit.ly forward slash I am unapologetically me. Once again, that's bit.ly forward slash I am unapologetically me. Well, what I'm going to talk about today, when you are confident, you are self-possessed. And self-possessed simply means you control your feelings. You know, the manner in which you treat yourself is the same way the manner that you treat other people. And I'm going to, you know, get into that more for you to think about that. How do you treat yourself? If you're not seeing, you know, the way you treat yourself, 
I want you to think about how do you treat other people? How do you treat other people? What is your feelings? What is your behavior? What is your composure? How do you treat other people? You know, the way, let me just put this out here. The way you love yourself is the way you love other people. If you don't love yourself, well, you can't love others. So a lot of times people are not seeing themselves. But if they just stop and think, how am I treating other people? How am I interacting with other people? You know, am I selfish? Am I holding back? Think about that. Are you selfish with other people? Are you holding back? Well, just think of it. You, you may be selfish with yourself. Not maybe. You're selfish with yourself. You're holding back something within yourself. See, that's a, a form of self low self-confidence and low self-esteem. So these, diff these are different things that are addressed in this course. All these different scenarios that I'm giving you, and even much more that people don't even realize because they think it's, you know, just everyday life. And they wonder why they never reach their ultimate goals, why they never maximize their potential, because something's holding them back. Are you caring? Are you, you know, really caring about yourself? Do you care about others? What part of you are you letting go? Are you neglectful in some area of your life? Are you easily distracted? I want you to think about these things. What's causing your procrastination? Why do you feel like you should be in the background? What makes you feel that way? And I've, I've known people like this. You know, I don't need to be out front. I could be in the background. I'm fine here. But ladies, you are meant to stand out. Not draw back. You push everyone else forward. But when it comes to you, what happens? Why aren't you confident? Why don't you have self-esteem? Why do you think that your place should be in the back? You're everybody else's cheerleader. But when it comes to you, you hold back. It's time to stop covering up and stop pretending. And get the information that's scrolling at the bottom of the screen to help you build your self-confidence and your self-esteem. Because like I said, it's time to get off the merry-go-round. It's time to come off the sidelines and get in the game. Because you only have one life. So live your life on purpose. So Get the information that's scrolling at the bottom of the screen, bit.ly forward slash I am unapologetically me. And like I said, it's a 12 unit course that you could take at your own pace in the comfort of your home or office or wherever you may be. And answer these questions and do these exercises and do it truthfully. And it will bring you to another level in your life where you could truly enjoy life. Because if you're not enjoying life, something's wrong, okay? We are meant to enjoy life, not just exist, but live your life and live your life on purpose. So that's all I have for you today. And I thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here with me today on this segment of Maximizing Your Potential. Until next time, this is your time. This is your season. This is your turning point.